Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to use an operational amplifier as a digital to analog converter. We can do that by having a summing amplifier circuit where we have four different voltages feeding into the circuit. We sum them up together and we have an output. So here we can have four different signals being added together to form a single analog output circuit. Notice that V4 is associated with the least significant bit and V1 is associated with the most significant bit. If we want the least significant bit to be equal to 1 8 of a volt, then this re represents 1 8 of a volt, this re represents twice as much, 2 8 or 1 quarter, this represents a half a volt, and this represents a full volt. We can do that not by changing the voltage inputs, we can make them all the same. In other words, we can make V1 equal to V2 equal to V3 equal to V4, which is equal to 1 8 of a volt. And we can then have the amplification effect done by changing the ratio of RF to each of the four resistors R1, R2, R3, and R4. Since we want R4 to be the smallest or the least significant bit, or I should say, since we want V4 to be the least significant bit, we want the ratio of RF to R4 to be equal to 1. So we're going to make RF divided by R4 equal to 1. So if we set each of these voltages is equal to 1 8 of a volt, and we know that the ratio of RF to R4 is equal to 1, then the input of V4 will result in an output of no more than 1 8 of a volt. If we then make the ratio of RF to R3 equal to 2, then if the input here is 1 8 of a volt, we then have an amplification of 2 to 1, that makes that into a quarter of a volt, so V3 will then be amplified to 1 quarter of a volt. If we make RF to R2 equal to 4, then if the input on V2 is equal to 1 8 of a volt, the 4 to 1 ratio of the feedback resistor to R2 will amplify that 4 times, so 1 8 times 4 will be equal to 1 half of a volt, and finally, if we make the ratio of RF to R1 equal to 8, then if 1 8 of a volt comes in on V1, we multiply that times 8 or amplify it by a factor of 8, that makes that into a 1 volt input. All these then get added together to get a single voltage output. That's how we get a digital to analog conversion by simply summing up the inputs on the four voltages. So the total output can then be written with the following equation. V output is equal to the negative of the ratio of and we can go ahead and take this one right here. So we have RF divided by R1 multiplied times V1, that's the most significant bit, divided by RF divided by R2 times V2 plus RF divided by R3 times V3 plus RF divided by R4 times V4. Then if we multiply these out, we get V output is equal to, make a V output like that. Okay, let's plug in some values for this. If this is 80 kilo ohms and we want the ratio to be 1 to 1, that means that R1 should be equal to, oh, not R1, R4 should be equal to 80 kilo ohms. R3 should be equal to, notice that RF to R3 should be equal to 2, that means R3 should be equal to 40 kilo ohms. R2 should therefore be equal to 20 kilo ohms. And finally, R1 should be equal to 10 kilo ohms in such a way that we have an 8 to 1 ratio between RF and R1. So plugging those values in here, we get V output is equal to the negative of RF divided by R1, that would be 80 kilo ohms divided by R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms times V1 plus 80 kilo ohms divided by 20 kilo ohms times V2 plus 80 kilo ohms divided by 40 kilo ohms times V3 plus 80 kilo ohms divided by 80 kilo ohms, that's a one-to-one -one ratio, times V4. And that's how we can convert the signals from a digital to an analog signal using operational amplifiers. 
that's how it's done.